We are in the car. We're going to, oh hi, happy Vlogmas day 20. I just realized I never did an intro. I showed you guys my breakfast and then I stopped recording. Um, Vlogmas day 20, hi, good morning. I've just been having like a shitty morning, like a shitty, um, we've been lazy, we're like laying around. I don't know if it's cause like the Pandora's coming back and I just feel so unmotivated and so, I just feel like everything I want to do with like content creation, YouTube, Instagram, it's just not working or something. Like I just feel like I'm on a roller, co roller coaster and there's days where I feel amazing and I'm like, I know this is what I want to do. And then the next day I'm like, I'm quitting everything and getting a job and deleting all my accounts. That's just like, oh, it's like a daily struggle because I just see people so much further along in their life than, than I am. And I've never been the person to compare because I just always felt like I'll find my own happiness. But for some reason, some days it like really gets to me. I don't know if it's because like I see people in my category doing more or like getting more deals or doing things that I've been trying really fucking hard to do. And I'm just like, they're 10 years younger than me. Like I might as well just quit. Like I, <laughs> that's just how I feel. <sighs> Please comment down below if you understand this struggle. I just don't feel creative. I don't want to be on camera. I don't feel good posting anything. I feel like everything I post flops. Everything I do, I don't have any community to talk to. No one's responding to me. No one's saying anything to me. Like, I literally feel like to do good on Instagram, I have to be single and posting myself half naked. And that's the only way to get people to like pay attention and that is pathetic. And I don't like that shit and I don't want to be half naked on the internet. I don't want to keep doing that. Like, I don't want to keep being that person that just posts pictures of myself because I'm like, I'm pretty. Like, no, it's annoying. It makes me feel worthless and it's not fun. For me, like I want to be creative and I want to work with brands and I want to do fashion and like fun interior stuff. Like I don't really want to do. <sighs> I'm having a frustrating day. We're going to try to go to this thrift store, but I think it's like about to close already. So one of our trees that we have, one of our plants is sick. <laughs> the leaves are falling off. And we don't know why. And it's like pretty rapid. So we're going to take him to the... Um, plant store down here and also because we might spend the holidays here I got my PCR test back and I'm negative but still it's like I don't really know it's so scary like my whole family's home and god forbid like I bring it home on the way out and then I give it to what my dad and something terrible happens like is it worth it um so yes we might go get a Christmas tree because we don't have anything holiday and if we spend Christmas at home we don't have anything Here's the sick tree now. There he is. Jerry! Good old Jerry. Um, Here you go. What a distinguished gentleman with his boots. <laughs> the boots and the dogs, I can't. Start en route to the Salvation Army. The man's got boots on. South on Monmouth Street. I, I always think it's funny when dogs lay down. Do you see it. another dog? I know. Like lay down and get ready to pounce. Stalking his prey. How are you feeling about the Pandora coming back? Turn left onto 16th Street. I don't think it ever left. I mean, coming back as like intense as it is for where we live. I mean, it like sucks. Everything's closing again. Everyone's scared again. I feel like everybody's gonna get Pandora's box. Literally. And then uh, let's just be over with it. So everybody get it? Move on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh but what do you, how do you go about Turn work and stuff? 16th Street. Are you scared? I'm a little nervous, but uh, I feel like they're saying that this one's not as bad, so I don't think they'll hopefully they're not going to shut down. And if they do, or maybe it's a thing of just like a couple weeks of get just like. Mile. Turn right, Letting everybody get it, you know what I mean? Because I feel like everybody that I talk to, someone has gotten it. Right. I think Ugh. it's just so much unknown. I think people are just sick of living in unknown. I know. It's just so hard to keep living in an unknown. Is this the new place? Oh no, that's Soho Lofts. There's an, the new place is one more down, right? Thank you. Yeah. So with like our lease being up really soon, now we're considering like trying to make a deal and trying to stay at our current apartment complex because of everything that's happening. 
So like everything is so up in the air, we have no idea what's gonna happen and it's, everything's very stressful. So we're going to the thrift store just to see what kind of furniture is in there. Furniture? Furniture, I just wanna see what's in there. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, obviously we don't have a big enough truck to take anything home even if we found something. We're just looking. I just wanted to look and see what was in the area because if we stay, like we never really bought furniture or like really even moved in really all the way, like your bedroom, but nowhere else. Look how tiny I look next to you. <laughs> Did it look small? You are small. I'm not that small, I'm five foot nine. Just for reference, I'm five nine. Look how big this man is. Okay, how tall are you? Six four. And he's a wall. Six foot four wall. Pretty much. Mm. At the Salvation Army, looking at furniture. at the Salvation Army. Not very good, it's not very good. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it was pretty, uh, pretty sad in there. Yeah, it was kind of get you. And uh, the selection was pretty minimal, for being honest. Babe, show them Jerry. Uh, All right, this is our plant, Jerry. He's, he's a money tree. He's partly dying, partly thriving. We just don't know if it's because of water at the bottom. Apparently, when the roots get really big, if you don't have a hole at the bottom. We don't have a hole. We have rocks at the bottom, but if there's any moisture in the bottom, it could be giving the reasoning why there's yellow. Yeah, like his leaves are turning this color, and then they just fall off. And it used to be very full, so this is what's happening. They all look like this originally. Yeah. And like even this one. So we don't know what to do. I feel like a mother that's like confused about her child. Yeah. So we're gonna take him to the plant store and be like, help. Yeah. See what's going on. Maybe they'll take him out of the pot and redo it or something. I don't yeah, know. that's what I'm thinking. We shall see. If you guys know tips about money trees and you know what's going on here, comment down below. We'd love to know. Center, <laughs> we're going to the hospital for Jerry. <laughs> here he is. Oh, look at these little mini Christmas trees that are left. Oh, they're so cute. They're the only ones left. <laughs> they're adorable. Oh, look at these. I like Christmas trees. No, those. Oh, these, yeah. yeah like those, those are cute. We'll get one of these. Oh. I wish Dew was here to see this. Dude loves Christmas trees. This is like the cutest garden center. This is why we have so many trees. Because every time we come in here, Get sucked into buying more trees. Yeah. This is the what your dad got us. This is the peace lily. I just have trouble. <laughs> we have this, and it's like this big. Oh my God, look at these trees. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Holy crap, that's a beautiful. I mean, you really gotta have a house though. I mean, you really gotta have a lot of space because we have this. We get to cut off a lot of the branches because we don't have enough room. And this is like so freaking cool.
Is that crazy? So cool. What are we thinking? We're gonna get one of these little trees. I'm gonna hold Jerry. Yeah. They said Jerry's fine and that we watered him too much, but we're just gonna see what happens in two weeks. He's bare on the bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah, what about this guy? What about this guy? He's bare on top. We could cut it down. The beautiful sounds of New York. Like, we get it, brother. We get it. Oh, this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know. It's kind of like black. How about him? Hams? How about Mr. Ham? Yeah. Yeah? He's perfect. We're going to get a Christmas tree. They have some strings of lights. Want to see how much they are? You guys, no big deal, but you have to come to this garden center because look at our Christmas tree. Wait, show it off, really show it. Give it a spin. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it, thank you. She is in the flesh. This is the tree we picked. She's tiny, as you can see. She's perfect. I didn't get any lights or decorations yet, but either tonight or tomorrow, I'll go out to Target and like see what's on sale. And then maybe we'll put her up. It's such a mess in here right now, so ignore this. Maybe we'll put her on here. I don't really know where to put her. Clearly I need to do a whole cleaning of this room. But like, if we live here, this couch is going. That desk is going. These chairs might go. We need something for here. It needs a whole revamp very badly. I made the enchiladas again because they were so good last time. I'll put the Pinterest recipe down below. And I heated up rice. Come join me in naked yoga. And this is, <laughs> this is my view while I'm cooking. He does this every time I cook. It's kind of like I cook. He provides, <laughs> he provides visual stimulation as I cook. This is actually um, plain Greek yogurt, and I just put lime and cilantro in it, and it kind of tastes like sour cream. It's really good. So we're gonna eat dinner, and then I think what we're gonna do is have a. What we're gonna do later is have a movie night. And I got the real popcorn. Instead of that like healthy crap that I hate. And then <laughs> chocolate covered pretzels, almond um, joys. And then chocolate chip cookies that I can make. It's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna do a Spider-Man movie marathon to get ready to go to the movies to see Spider-Man at some point, right? Yeah. Please take a look at yourself. What's up, girl? Ali Ababa. What's poppin'? Why do I have tissues next to me? I don't know, in case you cry. <laughs> oh, yeah, pull it out. This is how we do neck decompression in our household. Oh. Does it feel good, girl? Uh huh. This is my whole body. Weight. Hold on, you fucked my ear up. Hold on. I fucked you what up? My ear up. My ears. Okay, that's oh. good. I was pulling into the side of my head. You my ear. Those baby wimpy ears. The baby ears. Uh, them what? <laughs> you say? You say? Yeah, them little baby ears. Pull, babe. Look at. Uh, I can't help it. What's wrong with you? You're gonna break my neck. In the middle of our Spider-Man marathon, and the dog came home from his training. Hello. He had the best day. Are you hungry? Yay, we miss you. you Thanks hungry? for watching another Vlogmas. We're gonna go finish Spider-Man. Hang out with the Duke. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.